I don't have time to cook. I don't know how to cook. Those are the two, the two things that keep people from cooking. They claim they don't know how, and it takes too much time, and they're wearing a suit. It's hard to cook fast when you're wearing a suit, but you'll be okay. I'm feeling better? Uh, I feel, yes, Loosened really up. Re relaxed and loose. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. I could tell because you, you know, you're wearing a jacket. The only way you have control over what you put in your body is by cooking it. I started Googling how to cook. The first thing that populated in Google autofill, uh, spaghetti squash. Here the recipe for a roasted spaghetti squash with brown butter and walnuts. But you're going to do everything. We only okay. have regular butter. Well, it's going to become brown butter. Okay. This is cream. This is sage. This is spaghetti squash, olive oil, walnuts. You literally have five ingredients here. Did you turn the oven on? 500. Good. Start. That should do it. Have the squash lengthwise, scrape out the seeds. You have to be comfortable. You comfortable? I am. Rock it a little bit. There you go. There. How likely What's does this? it seem that he's going to cut himself? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's worrying me, but. You made that look easy. You did all the work. Okay. <laughs> With any squash, you want to get the seeds out. A big spoon is good. It's just like a pumpkin. So far, so good. Put it on a sheet. I would not measure this at all. Okay. I would just use a lot of olive oil. I would do this. Oh, that's very um, chefly. C culinary. And then we're going to turn these upside down and sort of smush them around in the oil that drizzles out of them. He's learning. He's learning. So now we have 30 to 40 minutes in the oven and we can just talk about cereal for a while. <laughs> How do I become a famous food writer? Well, I guess step one would be um, learn how to cook. I put flaxseed oil in my eggs in the morning. Well, you look good. Well, it's... <laughs> we can chop walnuts is what we can do. Okay. So just dump them this on This is a them. half cup of walnuts. You just rock like that. Try using your fingers just so that now the camera can see you the can beauty see the of way. your work. You need another book that's how to cook for the camera. Yeah. A pretty good job. You just did a great job except for this bottom part here. Okay, take the leaves off of those. You can use a scissors for this too if you'd rather do that. Some oh. people find scissors much more comfortable than knives and for greens they're great. I wouldn't have thought of it. No, but that's why I make the big bucks. We're already like doing so much more than happens on real cooking shows. Oh, great. So turn that to medium. Six and a half. Six and a half is exactly right. Half a stick of butter. It appeals to me in principle, but say for lunch, I will usually just eat a bag of spinach. Sometimes if I can't find a bag, I'll eat it out of the box. In with your walnuts. In with your sage. That's that. Oh, how long do we need to do this for? And we're done. Oh my God. Yeah, we're done. Gorgeous. Mm. That's beautiful. Nice job. If we were cooking this perfectly, I'd want every one of these to look like that. You just kind of comb out these lovely strands. This is why people want to know how to cook spaghetti squash because it is so cool. You can't divorce any of the issues around food for many of the others. You have to consider taste and cooking, but you have to consider nutrition, you have to consider the environment. But cooking is an important piece of the puzzle, I think. Yeah. Not to mention part of your social life. Because if you have people over for dinner, you can't just make... Order Subway from order downstairs. Sub oh. Yeah. Drizzle a little of the... Oh yeah, a little more of the oil. On a TV, we would eat it at exactly the same time and sort of smile. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is great. I can eat it on the subway while I'm listening to cereal. Mm. Oops. We have beers. I thought you might just want to hang out. And no, next time. Thanks very much. Uh, right. Good luck. Good luck in your cooking. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Where'd your jacket end up? Oh, did it go in the trash? Oh, no way. <laughs> That's unreal. Why are you filming this? This video is brought to you by Etna. We have a YouTube channel we would love it if you subscribe to. 
Uh, I'll be DJing a party um, in Brooklyn on the 14th at 4 a.m. Jim, I don't, I don't think you're DJing a party. Are you really DJing a party? It's like pencil. There's interest.